Welcome to Math Challenge 147. Math Challenge brings you interesting math quiz problems, questions and patterns, useful for junior and senior levels of national and international olympiads, numerical reasoning and quantitative aptitude tests, and other competitive exams. Here is a set of five quick, easy but tricky problems. Minimal or no rough work is required for their solution. Use of calculator is prohibited. Most of you would be able to solve it within a few seconds and would not need to pause the video. You may pause the video, but it is not recommended. Take a sheet of paper and a pencil. Write down the answers, allowing the video to proceed with its inbuilt timer settings. At the end of five questions, we will provide the correct answer as well as the quick solution method for each problem. Here is the first question, question number 147.1. .1. It's a set of exponential equations. 2 power a into 5 power b is equal to 50. 5 power a into 2 power b is equal to 20. Bases are 2 and 5 and the exponents a and b are interchanged in the equations. Find the values. Timer starts now. Here is the second question, question number 147.2. This is an exponential equation with one variable. 2 power n is equal to n power 32. Find the value of n. Repeat, find n such that 2 power n is equal to n power 32. Timer starts now. Here is the third question, question number 147.3. Another exponential equation. We have base 2 on both sides of the equation. The superscript is x. It is to the left of 2 on the left side and to the right of 2 on the right side. That is, it is tetration on the left side, exponentiation on the right side. Tetration is, as you know, repeated exponentiation. Find the value of x. Timer starts now. Now, the fourth question, question number 147.4. Twice 16 power 6 raised to power n is equal to 2. Repeat, 16 power 6 plus 16 power 6 whole raised to power n is equal to 2. We have to find the value of n. Timer starts now. Now, the last question, question number 147.5. x cubed minus x squared is equal to minus 12. Repeat, difference of cube of x and square of x is equal to minus 12. Find minus x, power minus x. Timer starts now. Here are the answers to all the questions. Check your answers. Also note down the short trick for solving them. So, here we go with answer and explanation for each. Answer to question 147.1 See the working on the two columns. In the left column, multiply the two equations. 5 power a into 2 power a gives 10 power a. 5 power b into 2 power b gives 10 power b. 10 power a into 10 power b is equal to 10 power a plus b. 
50 into 20 is equal to 1000. 1000 is 10 power 3. So, 10 power A plus B is equal to 10 power 3. Or, A plus B is equal to 3. In the right column, we divide the two equations. 2 power A minus B can be written as half power B minus A. 50 by 20 is equal to 5 by 2. Thus, 5 by 2 whole power B minus A is equal to 5 by 2 power 1. Or, B minus A is equal to 1. Solving the equations, A plus B is equal to 3 and B minus A is equal to 1. We get B is equal to 2 and A is equal to 1. Answer to question 147.2 2 power n is equal to n power 32. Product of exponents is 32 n. Raise both sides to power of its reciprocal. We get 2 power 1 by 32 is equal to n power 1 by n. 1 by 32 is equal to 8 by 256. 2 power 8 by 256 is equal to 2 power 8 whole power 1 by 256 which is 256 power 1 by 256. So, 256 power 1 by 256 is equal to n power 1 by n. Comparing, n is equal to 256. Answer to question 147.3 With base 2, we can see that superscript 2 is the only number for which tetration is equal to exponentiation. With superscript 3, tetration gives 16 while exponentiation gives 8. Only when superscript is 2, base 2 will give 4 for both tetration and exponentiation. So, x is equal to 2. Answer to question 147.4 Write 16 as 2 power 4. This, when raised to power 6, will give 2 power 24. So, 2 into 2 power 24, which gives 2 power 25. When raised to power n, the exponent is 25n. 2 power 25n is equal to 2 power 1. Equate the exponents. 25n is equal to 1. Or, n is equal to 1 by 25. Answer to last question, 147.5. Break 12 as 8 plus 4. Minus 8 is the cube of minus 2. 4 is the square of minus 2. Thus we we get, x is equal to minus 2. So, minus x is 2. And, 2 power 2 is equal to 4. Was that interesting? If you have any other method, we would love to learn from you. We shall come back with more interesting videos. Like, share the videos, and subscribe to our channel, if you are a math lover. Till then, goodbye.